Okay, so let's get to the good stuff. Peruvian rotisserie chicken, which I'm going to use. Ronco machine, older model, bigger one. I think it's a pro model. Uh, I'm going to try a turkey in this later. <laughs> to the chicken. Uh, so spices, I'll tell you, I'm using garlic powder, cumin, I'm using Polish spice, paprika, sweet, so it's got like a mild flavor, wine, white wine or cooking wine, that's my secret right there, I won't tell you, but go look it up, Peruvian chicken, they're all a little bit different, so. And uh, that's about it. Garlic powder, cumin, paprika, pepper, salt, pepper. And my secret. Liquid spice mix. And I'm ready to... Come on. Get out of the bowl. Then already pat it dry and uh, rub it with the lemon oil. Everywhere. Depends on the paprika you use, it'll change color. Uh, this has to marinate. Now it's already got string. I forgot to buy string. Part one done. Peruvian rotisserie chicken. Or just Peruvian chicken. Whichever one you choose. I haven't done a rotisserie in a while. I had this machine for a while now. Yeah, that's how it looks before the marination. Give it about a couple hours. And see how this thing will do. Accessing pizza dogs. Not too bad. Okay, so I've got my Peruvian chicken ready. It's a Peruvian marinade. Got my spit or spindle, whatever he calls it. Let's see how I'm gonna uh, place this chicken. Maybe this way. So it's um, that goes in that way. So I want to go on the side. Okay. Go 
glass. Is it hitting the back or no? That doesn't look like it's hitting the back. Looks pretty good. So I got the uh, compact one too. So We'll check back in one hour, so hopefully by lunchtime, I'll have barbecue chicken. I'm going to check here, Just glue that back on, plastic. I bought this from a yard sale. Not a bad find. Doesn't have any of the uh, other accessories, the basket or anything. Just got this one. So we'll be back in one hour. Okay, so this is it. It's about five minutes in. Go for one hour. I adjusted it a little bit so it's more centered. I guess balance is probably the key for this. It's looking really good. Probably a dirt pan there. It's really, really hot from here. To feel the heat. That will stay. Sort of bum that broke, but it's all good. I'm really happy with this machine so far. I'll have to try the uh, turkey in this next. Whole turkey, not a part of a turkey, or a leg. Yeah, it looks pretty good. See you later. Okay, I, I, I just stop stopping. One hour in. Stopping on its own. I might let go a little longer than that, but yeah, uh, piece that broke off. So. Glue that back on somehow to hold up the window, but yeah, it's hot, you know. it's hot, very hot. That's how it stopped, so don't want to touch it now. But oh, it looks pretty good actually. It's all the uh, fact that it dripped off it. I'm a pretty big fan of these machines, even if they have some damage on them. They hold up really well to anything. There's a two thumbs up for me. Chicken, Peruvian roast chicken, in Ronco machine. Set it and forget it. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show you 
the fat that came out of it. About a half a cup fat dripping off. After one hour, a little bit more, so. Just have to let that cool down so I don't have the uh, Ronco gloves to pull out. I only have this one item that came with this machine. So. I would like to try the basket eventually, but I'll find one, I don't know. Or those uh, spindles for skewer. It's all extras, I guess. So, that's all I got with this machine. That's all, yeah, that's all the fat that came off it. Kind of like a uh, George Foreman girl. Fat grips off. So that's good. Always a good sign. Okay, guys, so there it is. Old chicken. Need to make some gravy with it later. But just to show the inside. It's all juicy cooked through. Looks good all the way. Okay, have fun with this one, guys. I like it a lot. Shirmika, end of the month, February 2015. Peruvian chicken. And Ronco rotis Rotisserie. Yep. Uh, clean that up. <laughs>